Uh, I just think it's um, just feels like it's absolutely the right thing to do at the moment. I think we've been slow to pick up on how exciting it is and how rewarding it is to actually make use of old stuff. And uh, it makes you feel good if you rescue something and revamp it. It is uh, makes you really proud. And I think uh, people have been really enthused by that. Was there something in the pandemic around returning to a simpler life, making do and, and looking at things through fresh eyes? Yeah, I think we all um, got the opportunity to have a really good look at our houses and uh, see things in a different light. And uh, we all wanted to sort of feather our own nests. And when we were all stuck inside, uh, it just gave us the time to do that. So I think it really has given people some insight. And hopefully that's going to carry on now. Life is back to normal. Sarah, uh, morning to you. It's Charlie here. Inevitably, I'm rather Hello. carefully looking at your home behind you, <laughs> and I'm wondering if anything I can see has been uh, upcycled or recycled or any of that stuff. Uh, can I can I see any evidence? Um, well, actually, I have to say I'm on holiday at the moment. I'm um, away in a holiday cottage, uh, ah. so no. But I do I do have something um, portable that I bought with me because um, I've actually been uh, making bracelets and some jewellery recently. So these are made out of uh, old beads and uh, items that have been sent to the recycling centre. And um, so that's kind of portable upcycling, taking old stuff and just making it look a bit more contemporary. And I think that's all it needs to have done to it to make it appealing. OK, so I don't think, Sarah, where you are, you're going to be able to see the pictures we're putting on screen now. But Nina is going to describe for you some <laughs> of the upcycling images that people have sent us this morning, OK? So bear with us. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Oh, this is lovely. So we've got here, Sarah. Do you know the Henry Hoovers? And he's with faces on. So they've taken off the lead and the actual vacuum bit and they've used the faces, um, the friendly faces, to put flowers in the top, so flower pots. Uh, so the next one is, uh, this is Janie who's upcycled her old tyres. So we've got old tyres that have been painted pink yeah. and turned into garden seats. So yeah, it's got a kind of mesh, mesh. across the top. Uh, so it's one on top Very of the clever. other and you've got a kind of a chair. I'm not thinking that's the comfiest place to perch, but well done anyway. Jan has furnished a new home uh, for Hammer the Hamster. So what we've got here, Sarah, is an old TV stand, you know, with the glass sides. She's put a little yeah. hamster run in it, um, lots of sawdust, a perfect little playroom for the hamster. And Danny, uh, as last one we've got here, so he takes uh, different things he finds in charity shops and turns them into musical instruments. Okay, so we have a kind of a guitar, like, an, like a, it looks almost more like a mandolin, doesn't it? Uh, which I can't even work out what it's made of, but uh, it looks genuinely like an instrument you could play. That's it does. Quite ambitious. It does. We've not heard him play it, so we can't say necessarily what it, whether he does play it. Sarah, we've been discussing that. Is there a bar for upcycling? Charlie thinks it has to be something that's been completely repurposed and changed into something different. Can it just be something that you repainted, polished up from a charity shop? Absolutely. I think anything that gets reused is uh, you can count as recycling. I think saving stuff that is going to be thrown away absolutely counts. So, no, uh, just thinking a bit more carefully about our rubbish uh, and things that we might throw away, uh, I think that counts as upcycling. <laughs>